Hi, we're here today at Bazaz Performance, and we're going to do an installation of our ZFI MX product on this 2010 CRF 450. Once you purchase your Bazaz ZFI MX kit for your application, there's a few things included in the kit your fuel control unit, a mounting bracket, fuel harness, software, USB cable, uh, obviously installation instructions. Uh, Velcro and cable ties to aid in the mounting and also some Bazaz die cut stickers. Here we have laid out what tools are required to complete the installation. A flathead screwdriver, a 5 mil Allen, a 8, a 10 and a 12 mil T handle, a pair of uh, wire cutters to snip your zip ties to neaten up the insulation and also a small flathead or pick is uh, beneficial when taking the ground strap or the uh, attachment strap off the gas tank. To complete the installation, you're going to have to remove a few key components, the seat, the side fairings, the gas tank, and you also want to remove the side plates. What makes this particular application unique is to ease the access to the throttle position sensor, we can loosen the hinging bolts of the subframe, disconnect the exhaust pivot points and also the additional bolts mounting the subframe to the frame, and rotate the subframe up to gain access to the throttle position sensor connector. Now that we've got the necessary components removed, we can begin the installation by connecting the Bazaz fuel harness to the various connectors on the motorcycle. The first step is to disconnect the stock harness connector on the fuel injector and plug in the Bazaz harness in line with the stock harness connector and the injector. Now that we've got the injector connector properly installed, we're going to route the harness on both sides of the frame. We're going to put the crank position and ground lug connectors on the right side of the frame and the throttle position and power connectors on the left side of the frame. We're going to connect the Bazaz crank position connectors in line with the stock crank position connectors which can be found near the radiator holes on the right hand side of the frame. And we're also going to connect the Bazaz ground lug to the stock harness ground lug located on the front frame spar near the radiator. Locate the stock capacitor connector which Bazaz uses for power and plug in the Bazaz power connector in line with these connectors. Okay. On a 2010 CRF 450, for ease of installation, rotate the subframe up and connect the Bazaz throttle position connectors. Remove the stock throttle position sensor connector and install the Bazaz connectors in line. Route the Bazaz harness into the air box where it's going to be permanently located with a mounting bracket. We suggest that you loosen these two mounting points for the stock ECU and route the Bazaz harness underneath. The Bazaz control unit is going to be mounted within the air box using a bracket that we supply with the kit. Take the two pieces of the mounting bracket, slide the tabs in together and align them, and then secure them both together with a supplied cable tie. The Bazaz kit also comes supplied with a Velcro strip. This is used by placing it on the back of the control unit and the other strip within the mounting bracket. So once you install the control unit into the bracket, it secures it there. Now that the Bazaz control unit is placed within the assembled bracket, we're going to locate the bracket in the airbox area between the two subframe rails, securing it with zip ties. Now that the bracket and control unit has been secured in the tail section of the bike within the airbox, we're going to connect the main connector and go back and secure the rest of our harness with zip ties or cable ties. Now that the harness has been properly routed and we've gone back and secured the cables and the routing along the way with cable ties, we're ready to reinstall the components that we removed at the beginning of the installation. When reassembling your motorcycle, please be sure to reference your stock service manual 
to reapply proper torque to all bolts reinstalled. Now that the installation is complete, we can go in and install the Bazass software on your computer. With the use of the USB cable supply with the kit, we can begin to tune our system.